in downtown Tampa on the east end of Zach Street and surrounded by vacant lots stands a lone house. The house is over a hundred years old and just a short walk from Tampa's historic Union Station. At the turn of the century, this was the six-room residence of Moses and Sarah Jackson. This house, only two stories tall, has many stories to tell. The family couldn't help but hear and see the busy activity at the Union Station as trains brought people to Tampa from faraway places. Train travel was popular then, and travelers were welcome to Tampa with open arms. If the travelers were in need of a place to lay their heads and hang their hats, there were quite a few hotels and places for them to lodge. That is, unless you happen to be black. The Jim Crow laws of the South discriminated against African Americans, and they were not permitted to stay in the majority of hotels, eat in most restaurants, drink from undesignated water fountains, or even use the same restrooms as people with light-colored skin. So they converted their home into a rooming house for travelers. Jackson House opened for business. Well, the house was uh, started by my uh, grandfather, uh, Moses Jackson, and my grandmother, Mrs. Sarah Jackson. So this house has been uh, in operation over 100 years, providing service uh, for people of color, uh, for anyone who wanted to stay here who knew how to govern themselves accordingly. Uh, before downtown opened up and before the other hotels and uh, motels opened open up to uh, when we had integration. Tampa's innovative black community, in spite of discrimination, built a thriving business district downtown on Central Avenue. Central Avenue had it all. Groceries, restaurants, healthcare, barbers, theaters, and nightclubs. Well, the Central Avenue that I remember uh, growing up here in the 1950s and 60s was the center of, of black life, the center of entertainment, the center of black business, uh, the center of excitement. Yes, I do remember Central Avenue. There was everything that the black people needed, segregated black people needed on Central Avenue. We had two theaters. We had the Central Theater, the Lincoln Theater. We had um, Watch Sanderson's Blue Room, which was a nightclub. We had the Palace Drugstore. We had the Greek Stand. Uh, we had um, dry cleaners, grocery stores, lawyers, doctors, dentists. You name it, we had it. And then you had the entertainers who were part of the Chitlin circuit. And people who became legends played up and down Central Avenue at the Cotton Club and uh, Watt Sanderson's place and the Apollo. So this boarding house on Zack Street, the Jackson House, played a major role in housing those entertainers. And they would come from all over the country, stay at the Jackson House, perform on Central Avenue. A lot of famous entertainers came to Tampa on tour during the years 1938 through 1940, before the war began. Among those people that I actually saw in the house Cap Calloway, Ella Fitzgerald and Chick Webb in their band, Silas Green and his band of renown, I think that's what he called it, Buddy Johnson, um, Ray Charles was here in Tampa, and um, he came because I had two cousins who were musicians, and they used to get together in this house, in this hallway, and jam. Those days we had a piano right there in the hall and we had a piano in the living room. So there used to be a lot of music in this house. Even at a later time, James Brown came here. He was um, not very well known, um, picking up gigs here and there, sometimes hungry, come here to eat. But uh, we, I, I guess our house was known as the place where music and entertainment and fun uh, was always happening. When finishing the walls in the main hallway, Moses ran his fingers through the wet plaster, creating a design 
and leaving his mark upon that house. When the other wall needed replastered, it was his son-in-law, Willie Robinson Sr., who emulated Moses' design. Uh, so on the right side, I have my great-grandfather. On the left side, I have my uh, father's handprint on there. And the hallway took on a significant meaning at that time. You know, it, it's, it's very unique to say that your grandfather uh, uh, fingerprints on one side and your father's on the other and you're walking down the center of the hall and you're in the middle. The Jackson House is now a designated National Historic Landmark, but it is in desperate need of repairs. Shoddy workmanship by unscrupulous contractors left the roof in disrepair and leaking. We do have a severe leaks. Uh, the leaks have been fixed six to seven times, but uh, we continue to have the same leak and the same problem. You, you know it's rotting the wood and probably it's mildew in the house. Uh, if, we, uh, if we are going to save this house, that's one of the main things that will have to be stopped. The foundation is uh, most important because, uh, you know, you got to start from the bottom and work your way up top. But the foundation uh, is, we have about four or five beams that's, that has broken to, which is causing the foundation of the house uh, to be uneven. The Jackson House is in danger of collapse. In the 70s, during a period called urban renewal, Central Avenue was chosen as a spot for highway construction and was destroyed. You know, a lot of what we had has been torn down. Either fires have destroyed them, hurricanes have blown them away, or the wrecking ball, you know, tore them down, making way for urban renewal or making way for the interstate expansion. But the Jackson House is still standing, you know, right where it stood over 100 years ago. And uh, it's so significant, again, because it's there. I can't believe every time I think about it that it stood there for about 108 years I think God preserved it for a reason, as a symbol to us that, you know, in spite of prejudice, in spite of discrimination, they took just a little and made all kinds of things happen. So the Jackson House is still standing as a symbol to us uh, as to what the possibilities are and with the grace of God, you know, what you can do. It would be a sin to let this house go. I'm asking people to think about that and to uh, uh, consider that uh, helping us to save this house.